Hey Richard, um, notice how fillets don't really have a profile there. <clears throat> it's a special entity type that's got an arc definition. So uh, you can basically uh, modify any of those or if you want to uh, find out what it is, you can do a measure on it. And then uh, the measure entity window gives you uh, tells you what it is. So uh, it's a 0.25 radius arc. And so that tells me uh, if I want to get, I can just offset this profile by the uh, 0.25 to get um, <clears throat> what that outer profile would be, offset it out and down a little bit, and it would be the perfect profile that goes around that like that. <clears throat> Other than that, it's just a 0.25 arc that goes all the way around that thing that's basically a surface. So um, I forgot to include in the other video, though, um, about translating. You said you wanted the center of the small hole to be um, at zero where the stock is. Um, when uh, arcs have a pick point that's actually defined in the center. <clears throat> so from this, I could do either two things. Since If I want to send it to zero, um, I can use the enter command and go zero and have my pick point be a start. And I could use the center of that arc as a start and it'll move it to the center of this being the zero. Um, if I wanted to send it somewhere else, um, I would either know where those coordinates are and enter them or I could create a point or have a point somewhere else and set pick and then I could pick the center of the arc as the start and then the end point I would go over and click on that so um, it looks like this um, I select all my geometry I say okay and remember look down here in the left is telling you everything you need to do left click the point the from and so when you shift click uh, in these types of commands in Bobcat, it brings up the pick points that are available for you or the points. And so that arc has a center one. And if I just pick there, then it, since I had enter as zero, it automatically put that uh, center of that arc at zero. Um, same thing with the rotation commands. So now if I wanted it shooting off in the other direction, um, I could either have the rotation for this one being enter but uh, we could use pick for this. So if I wanted to scale, if I wanted to rotate it 180 degrees, then uh, I set the whole thing. And then um, for the uh, down here, it's telling me the pick point for the axis rotation. So I can shift click either one of these arcs and pick the center of that and rotate it 180 degrees around there. Um, so uh, the default stock is going to be um, working off of this, and so. Wherever this zero is, is the zero. Now, if you wanted to use work offsets, um, you define stock by, uh, so in other words, on your machine, when you output code, the center of that little hole is zero. This is these over. This is going to be going in minus X. This is going to be going over there. Now, if you wanted to set work offsets, um, you could define stock uh, somewhere else. So uh, we can go back over here and just say uh, three and up to there and move that part up there a couple of places like that and then um now i can go uh and actually define stock over there uh, i'm just gonna go and uh actually sketch one really quick so let's go like this and and you know say that was my stock and what i wanted to do and then um when i go to sec select geometry for the stock then uh, I would select this, but really that doesn't have any bearing except for the back plotting and everything. The code is still over here, but um, what you could do then too is now put operations on this. You know your geometry is over here and this is a work offset. Then when you make uh, some type of a profiling operation, then uh, basically uh, in here in the posting options you can set a you can set that as the second or the third work offset and then that'll output you know a, a, a g56 or whatever the, whatever the heck that one would be uh, for the code that's on that operation within the feature and uh, but essentially um, you know that's going to be cutting code up at x blah 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 y blah 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 right not zero because you set because you set stock there right so yeah that would look like uh here did i
right? X13 stuff way over here. So now So still puts out the 13 and stuff, but it's telling uh, here's a G56 now setting that work offset up right there. Yeah, so that's how to move your stock around basically, but um, uh, you n you don't even have to define that stock there. That's just that would only be a matter for if I back plot it. Um, if I didn't define stock over here, then the it, the stock would show up in Predator back plot over here, and it'd be milling way off over here, wouldn't show anything. But now that I did that, if I back plot it, then uh, it actually back plots on the stock that's over there. Anyway, um, that's uh, translating around. Remember your pick points, shift click in, uh, and then uh, setting up your work offsets if you want to do that. Or um, it's always going to be code zero out. Yeah.